This is a demonstration of Speech Tools. Speech Tools is an add-in for Microsoft Word that adds to the functionality and features of speech recognition. Speech Tools works with all versions of Microsoft Word from 2007 to 2010, 2013, and 2016, and all Windows operating systems from Windows Vista to 7, 8, and 10. This demonstration is using Microsoft Word 2016. As you can see here, there's the familiar interface with the Home, Insert tabs, and also a new tab with Speech Tools installed called Speech Tools. Now, if you've used speech recognition before with Microsoft Word, you're familiar with this tool. It's called the Shared Speech Recognizer, and it's part of the Windows operating system. So you already have this and you may have used it before to do dictation in Microsoft Word. It can also be used to open files, close documents, and various other tasks. It's not specifically designed for dictation with Microsoft Word, and for that reason, it's missing a lot of features. Speech Tools adds those features that you've always wanted to have with dictation in Microsoft Word, but are just simply lacking unless you buy a much more expensive, dedicated speech recognition system that can cost two or three hundred dollars. Now, the first missing thing that you will love about Speech Tools is the Speech Commands list. It's very difficult to know what's possible to say in dictation using Microsoft Word because the speech command list that is provided is so limited. But now you can see all the commands at a glance. There's over 850 commands here that are included, plus 100 new commands that Speech Tools adds for you. And you can search them by speech recognition. Start listening. Search for delete. Search for delete word. Stop listening. So now at a glance you can see all of the speech commands for deleting a word. There's delete word, delete the entire word, delete the next word. There's many options here for deleting words and they're all available at a glance. The next feature is the Speech Clipboard. The Speech Clipboard allows you to save text information and enter it again with a voice command. So that saves you from having to retype difficult text. So for example, you could enter your website URL by using a speech command and not have to spell out all the letters again every time. Start listening. Search for personal info. Stop listening. The speech commands that you create with speech tools are listed here. You can categorize the clipboard commands any way you want to with your own category names to make them easier to find. Start listening. Insert phone number. Stop listening. So now you don't have to type out or say letter by letter or number by number different pieces of information. Start listening. New paragraph. Please visit my website. Period. Enter. Stop listening. So my website is an example command that's been added to the speech clipboard. You can add more very easily and give them any name you want to add the text again at a later time. One of the big problems with speech recognition is that information can be accidentally entered into your document when a door closes or you clear your throat. That's happened to you many times before if you've used speech recognition. But Speech Tools gives you a noise filter that eliminates a lot of these extraneous noises and prevents them from getting into your document. Let me show you how it works. Start listening. Stop listening. So, as a result of inhaling, 
it tried to enter a word into the document. But that word has been trapped here in the noise filter, so it can't be entered by itself. If you want to enter one of these blocked words, all you need to do is just say insert word, and then it will be entered into your document. This will save you a lot of grief from finding random text in your document. Now the best way to proofread your document when you're all finished is using the read command. Let me show you how that works. Start listening. This is a test of speech tools for Microsoft Word, period. Select the sentence. Start reading. This is a test of speech tools for Microsoft Word. Clear selection. Stop listening. So that's it. You can have speech tools read back your text and it will help you find different kinds of mistakes that can be in your work and you'll catch them before the boss does or before the teacher does. One of the most powerful tools in speech tools is the transcribe feature. This feature is a complete media player for doing transcription right inside Microsoft Word so you don't need anything else. It supports virtually every popular audio and video file format. You can use the mouse to control it, and you can even use speech commands to control it. Start listening. New paragraph. Timestamp. Go. Mars may hold that secret for us. This is why Mars Repeat. is so special to us. Mars may hold that secret for us. Go. This is why Mars Stop listening. So you can dictate or you can type in the text that you hear. The transcribe feature is described more fully on the transcription page on the Dual Writer website. So click over there to check out more about transcribe. Also included with speech tools is a speech dictionary. Now, this does not replace the custom speech dictionary that comes with the speech recognition system, but what it does is it gives you a very fast and convenient interface for adding and editing words in the dictionary. And it even gives you an import list feature. All you need to do is create a list of words that you would like to enter. They can be specialized vocabulary words for work or for school, or the names of places or people in your office. And once you have entered this into the custom dictionary, the speech recognition system will work a lot better. So these are the primary features in speech tools for Microsoft Word. It works for all of the new versions of Microsoft Word and Microsoft Windows. It's only $29.95 and you can download it for free and use it for 30 days.